The HP inkjet cartridge contains a spongy material called hydrophobic foam. The sponge contains the ink. It's made of a synthetic, porous rubber and imbued with water repellent agents. It repels ink rather than absorbing it and controls the ink flow inside the cartridge. Put the cartridge in an area where you can tolerate a spill or on some newspaper. Remove the label from top of cartridge. Now, the filler opening is visible. Sometime, there are several holes. If you are not sure which is the correct refill hole, stick a needle down into each chamber. Then wipe with paper to check out the correct filling hole. The correct filling holes are the ones with the sponge inside. Fill a syringe with a maximum of 10 milliliters of black ink. Insert the needle into the cartridge enough to penetrate the internal sponge. You will notice a slight resistance. This is due to the sponge inside the cartridge. Very slowly, inject the ink into the cartridge. Do not push the needle too far down. If the hole is too small for the syringe, you can use a knife to widen it for filling. Do not put too much ink. The majority of cartridges are physically restricted on the inside. So 5 milliliters are often enough. Ensure that you stop if the ink rises to the top of the filler opening. In this case, draw a little back of ink into the sore inch. When finished, you can leave the top label off and the filling holes exposed. The cartridge has to pull in air or it will not work. Replace the cartridge and run a cleaning cycles. For best results, leave cartridge and printer for two hours after refilling so the ink can saturate the entire sponge. After inserting the refilled cartridge, your printer might show an error message saying that the cartridge is empty. The printer knows that cartridge from the serial number and knows it to be empty. You can only replace the cartridge with another refilled one or follow the reset instructions. If the print is poor, the print head of the cartridge may be blocked with dried ink. If you need to clean the cartridge, follow the instructions of this video.